Let's practice the pen tool. Click on the pen tool, it looks like a pen. And you go click, 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 click. And you can see you, you make a general shape and you can close it off when you see the circle. And the idea of clicking around is good for beginners. You can right click on the edge here and go to make selection and just click on OK. And notice how you, you can select a certain region. And this is good if you want to isolate work. For example, if you're using the, the paintbrush tool, you can simply be isolated to that region. Let's press Control Z and uh, Control D or select a deselect to get rid of that. Let's try again. Use the pen tool. This time, let's try clicking and then click somewhere else, but hold the left mouse button down and bend the arc. This is very useful for making a nice curve. Now notice how when you actually click again a third time without just clicking and letting go, the pen tool automatically tries to calculate the, um, the path of where it should go. So it tries to make for smooth lines, which is very important for creating logos and, and creating nice uh, clean lines. This pen tool is very similar to Adobe Illustrator's pen tool. It's good for vector graphics where you could stretch pictures as large as you wish. So let's press Control alt z to undo. Now the problem with this is that sometimes when you're trying to create a Nike logo or those kind of logos, you lose control. What if we wanted to create a McDonald's logo? Control alt z This is where you would actually hover over to the last point and press Alt-click. So Alt-click on that point. When you hold Alt, notice how it became like a little tr kind of a sharp point there. And once you've done that, we've essentially regained control over our pen tool. So when I click here and bend it again, we can now create something more like a McDonald's logo. Now notice how if you want to get rid of center points, you can actually hover over it with a pen tool and there's a minus sign near the cursor. You click on it and it essentially gets rid of that center anchor point. So now we only have uh, two points here and if you of course uh, um, click on this point and you drag you can tweak things up change stuff around what else can we do you can even hold control if you hold down control on this actual point you can change these uh, the location of these points which is extremely powerful for tweaking some uh, graphics up alright let's uh, press escape if you press escape twice it gets rid of that path let's practice making the McDonald's logo a little bit more so if I were to go click, click, drag, and then hold down the alt click here, click, drag, and then hold alt click here. Now I'm going to show you another technique here. If you hold down shift and shift left click, it actually makes uh, nice um, 90 degree or 45 degree lines. So if I go, if I hold down the shift button the entire time as I'm clicking around, you can create nice uh, 90 or 45 degree uh, type lines. Let me press Control Z a couple times and just finish this graphic off here. I'm just gonna uh, click here and bend it. Looks like I should have went a bit lower there, but that's okay. I'm just doing this very quickly. Alt click here, hold down Shift to keep this nice and aligned. Uh, Alt click on this point here, and I shall go like this. It's not quite perfect, but you get the point here. Let's hold the uh, um, let's hold down the alt click here and hold down shift click here. So notice how we have a nice path here. What can we do with this path? We already talked about um, right clicking it with the pen tool. You can make a selection as we've done before. We can even add a stroke. So the stroke path, we're going to use the brush, uses whatever the brush settings are. For example, if I choose OK, you, we're choosing a fuzzy brush. So you get that black, black fuzzy brush. Whereas if you press uh, control alt z and let's redo this right click choose a fill path and what we have here is you can fill it using the foreground color click on ok and we actually fill the entire shape uh, with black to actually get rid of the um, the path you press control x and you can see that now it looks really clean and that's what we made so congratulations, you now know how to use the pen tool. Uh, if you are trying to uh, remaster something, uh, let me just try to give you an example of why you might need the pen tool. Say this was our logo that we want to trace over. Uh, I'm going to go new. Uh, and before I, okay, I'll, I'll paste it, just increase the canvas size. Excuse me while I just uh, work through this here. I'll just increase it about a 500%. So imagine you have a picture you found off the internet or, or that you uh, 
scan from a, f a photo a long time ago, but the picture is fuzzy like this. How could you use the pen tools to go over it? To remaster it, essentially? Uh, you could um, pay an artist on Vector, um, Vector Magic, uh, this website. Uh, it's a nice uh, vectorizing program if, if the software doesn't work for you. Or you can do it yourself by making this layer up 50% opacity, make it a bit gray, uh, create a new layer, and on this new layer is where you would actually use the pen tool. And you can go click, uh, click here, drag. If you're running out of room, you might have to uh, zoom out. Or you can press escape there. You can even go click here, click at the top here, bend the lines a bit. Generally, the angle you want to create between this little line here and the drawing, you want to try to keep it uh, the, the acute angle here and here equal. And generally, if I click here, and it's actually correct, don't bother dragging it and, and messing it up, because Photoshop does a good job making a natural, smooth curve line, and you don't want to mess with gold. What works? Press Alt-click here, and once again, you can click and drag, make a nice uh, equal angle here. And if you just click here, pow, magically we're remastering this. And uh, this is a good technique to use. You can uh, trace over a nice logo by filling in the outer shape first. And if there's some inner details, create a new layer and take care of the inner details next, one step at a time. Congratulations, you now know how to use the pen tool a bit better and uh, have a power to create some uh, wonderful things.